Dan from Akai here, and I'm going to show you a little bit more in depth on how to work with VSD plugins and automation. Right now I've loaded up Vacuum Pro, and this is a VST made by Air Music Technologies. And first thing I'm gonna show you is simple automation. If I'm in record mode, all knob motion is recorded. Now that's one way, but let me show you the fun way. If you go into program edit mode, what you see now, this right here is all of your VST's parameters. You have six banks that you can access by pressing page one, two, three, four, five, and six, and you can customize what each of these controls do. By clicking here, you see a drop-down menu. These are all the parameters of your VST plugin. Some VSTs have only a couple parameters. Some of them have thousands, but you'll have access to all of them. For instance, Vacuum Pro has a mode called Smart Page. On this page, what I've done is I've mapped the eight bottom knobs to the eight knobs on the Smart Page. So now what I can do is I have a little riff recorded here. I can adjust my sound. And now when I have something I like, if I hit overdub, I can record all those motions. I can edit my automation down here in my automation list. The two parameters that I've automated show up right here. I can see my curves, I can select my curves, I can move the curves with the mouse, move individual points, or I can select multiple points and move them all at once. Or, using my pencil tool, I can just draw individual points. Now, you'll notice that right now, my drawings are going by the current time correct setting, which is 16th note. What you can do is you can use that to get a nice steppy sort of transcate kind of sound, or you can set your time incorrect to off, and then you can draw a nice long sweeping curve. Additionally, once you've set up your mappings like I've done here. If you decide that you like it and that's how you want this plugin to open up all the time, what you can do is you can actually save that as a preset. Just right click, choose save. And I have a VST folder here and this is where I keep all of my favorite plugins. So I'm just going to name this Vacuum Pro and save. So now on folder 5 I have all of my VSTs listed right here. And so now all I need to do is if I start a brand new project, if I want to use Vacuum Pro, rather than actually going in and doing all of this here by choosing a, a plugin and whatnot, what I can do is just drag and drop Vacuum Pro in. Much simpler, nice quicker way to work, and all your mappings are right there. That's it for automation. I'm Dan with Akai. Join us again next time.